it's me again, and we're in our living room, and today we're going to be reading a book called Ruby in Her Own Time. So here we go. Ruby in Her Own Time. I'm mom. I'm mom. So Ruby is a duck? I'm mom. Yeah. Okay. Ruby in Her Own Time. Upon a time, a, a nest. Upon a nest. Upon a nest. Beside a lake, there lived two ducks. Mm -hmm. A mother duck and a father duck. There were five eggs in the nest. Mother duck sat upon the nest all day through hauling wind and all night and all night and driving rain looking after the eggs all five of them then one bright morning the eggs began to hatch one two Three, four. Little beaks peeked out into the sunlight. One, two, three, four. Little ducklings shook their feathers in the breeze. We'll call them Rufus, Ruby, Rosie, and Rebecca said Father Duck, and Mother Duck ag agreed. But the fish egg did nothing. Will it ever hatch? said Father Duck. It will, said Mother Duck, in its own time. And sure enough, it did. She's very small, said Father Duck. What shall we call her? We'll call her Ruby, said Mother Duck, because she's small and precious. Rufus, Ruby, Rosie, and Rebecca ate whatever they were given. They ate anything and everything. Will she ever eat? said Father Duck. She will, said Mother Duck, in her own time. And sure enough, she did. Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca swam off wherever they were able. They swam anywhere and everywhere, but Ruby swam nowhere. Will she ever swim? said Father Duck. She will, said Mother Duck, in her own time. And sure enough, she did. Rufus, Ruru, Rosie, and Rebecca grew bigger. And Ruby grew bigger too. Her feathers grew out and her wings grew Broad. Broad and beautiful. And when Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca began to fly, Ruby flew too. Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca flew far and wide. They flew out across the water. They flew up among the trees. But Ruby flew farther and wider. She flew out beyond the water. She flew up above the trees. She flew everywhere and anywhere and everywhere. She stretched out her beautiful wings. 
and soared high among the clouds. Mother duck and father duck watched Ruby flew flying off into the distance. Will she ever come back? said Mother Duck. She will, said Father Duck in her own time. And sure enough, she did. The end? Mm -hmm. mm, that's nice story. So what did you learn from that story? Uh -huh, yeah, so did, what did, do you know what I learned from it? Mm -hmm. I learned from it is that it is wrong to compare people or compare students or compare kids to each other. Every one of them is special in their own way and even if they are delayed in something at first, they can catch up and maybe they can impress you and become even better than others. So we have to treat everyone in a specific way, in a special way because everyone is a special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Zahra. Bye. Bye.